Right, so tonight I am doing another Halloween look. Tonight is going to be a werewolf. Right now I'm just heavily moisturizing my face because of all the stuff I'm going to put on it tonight. But let's get started. So to start my werewolf look off, I'm just going to mix a foundation that I would like to use and I'm going to cover my face with it and bring it down onto my chest. So I'm just smoothing that foundation out with a flat beauty sponge and I'm just patting this out. I went super full coverage because this is gonna be costume makeup. So from here, what I'm gonna do is do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the same pomade I use, which is the Morphe pomade, and I'm going to do my eyebrows the exact same way I would normally. But what I'm going to do, instead of extending it over my tail, I'm going to bring it straight out, so that way everything kind of comes upward because the eye look I'm going to be doing is going to be going up. So I'm going to conceal my tail. So right now I am just blending out my eye base. I put under just to clean up the underneath of the brow. And then I did just take, after I filled my eyebrows in the way I like to, I just ran these and made these super fluffy and hairy looking. Now I'm just taking my brow powder and just really defining some lines. For the eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using my 35D Desert Bouquet Palette by Morphe. And I'm going to use these two bottom browns right here. So I'm taking the shade Joshua Tree first and I'm just stamping that out to the shape that I want. And I am bringing it up to my brow and bringing it into my nose area because it's going to work as a contour for the wolf nose. Now I'm taking the shade Adobe and this is going to be my blending shade to blend out and blur the edges. Now I'm taking the darker of the two browns and packing that all over my lid. This one is called Plant Zaddy and I'm going to pack this and keep it in the same shape. I'm not gonna go all the way up. I'm just really packing that into my lid to really deepen it because we're gonna bring it under the eye. So I went ahead and took Joshua Tree underneath the eye to start with and I'm just leaving out this little triangle right here because I'm gonna do that white. And I'm taking Adobe and blending this out so that way it gives a really nice smoky finish. Going in with the darker brown, I'm just taking a really stiff detail brush and just patting that through the lash line and into this little crease to really define that triangle. I'm now going to take this shade Mud Mask and I'm going to use this like I am on my nose and contour my entire face with it. I'm now setting my entire face with translucent powder even over the contour I just did. Going back in with Joshua Tree, I'm really going to pack this all over because I'm going to start putting hair like strokes. Now that I've deepened up my contour on my face, I'm going to take a paintbrush. This one is angled and I'm going to dip it into the same browns and do hair like strokes on my face. So here's what it's looking like right now. What I'm going to do is put my big lashes on. I'm going to add myself a nose, put a few little fun details on. And I'll be back with the finished look. All right, you guys, here's the look finished. So for the final details, I just popped some contacts in, put some tattoo scratches on that I picked up from Walmart for $2 and added some blood. Thanks for watching. All right.